You've been on the show uh, many times performing, uh, but this is the first time. I, I got to tell you, you're fantastic in this movie. Thank you're, you. You're a great actor. Thank uh, you. Please, I mean, congratulations. I, was this acting always in your uh, plan? Well, yeah, when I was about seven years old, um, <laughs> my music teacher put me, she put me in a play. And um, I discovered that I was an actress when I would hear the chatter of people saying, oh, she did great, she's doing great, she did great in the play. So when I was a little kid, that kind of stuck with me that I did great in that play. And I, it, I didn't really look at it anymore until I got older. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll, singing is my first love. Absolutely, yeah. That's, this is what I do. So when, until I, when I got older, then I started looking at it again. But, you know. You're fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you've already won a award. Break, breakout performance actress at the Hollywood Film Awards. Yeah. Breakthrough performance at the Indie uh, Wire Honors. How's, how's that feel to win these awards and you got for acting? Um, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be recognized as an actress. I've been singing all, all my life. This, I've been in this game for 25 something years and just to be looked at as an actress and respected as an actress because I really work hard for it. I just didn't want to get a role as an artist and, yeah. you know, and not do my best. So I, I feel really good about it. I'm so humbled by the whole thing. Well, that, that's you know, amazing. That's the best part of that, that you, you actually are humble because you're also known as the queen of hip hop soul. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be known as that, it's hard to be humble. You're like, hey, queen. Uh, and you go, yeah, I guess. I mean, does that, does that, when you first heard that term, <clears throat> did, that, did that put you in a whole different, did you think about that seven-year-old Mary J? When I first heard that term, I didn't understand that I was a queen. I just thought, you know, I just, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't understand that I was a queen until later <laughs> in my career that when I heard my song, Family Affair, on the country station. Like, I was like, well, well R&B music is not played on the country station, so I must have done something. But it didn't register to me that I was a queen of anything, a queen of hip hop. So I know it was a form of music, but I didn't take it like, you know, I'm a queen. Now I was like, yeah, I'm a queen. I'm a queen of everything that, you know, I'm just queen of, you know, of what I do, queen of everything that I do. <laughs> yeah. So I accept it now with, with not, not being cocky about it. I feel like I had to earn it. I didn't know. You know, I didn't really you understand, you know, it was, it was, it's, a, it's a genre of music, the queen of hip-hop soul. It's a f form of music, right? It is, yeah. Right, isn't it? You're singing over, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So now it's like, okay, yeah, I am the leader and the queen of that type of music. So. And you can own it now, yeah. Yeah, I own it now. Uh, <laughs> I, I know, I know uh, enough about you. I think I know a lot about you, but I, I, I know that you started in a karaoke uh, booth in the mall. Well, I didn't start there. That's where right. um, the demo came, but I didn't even know I was recording the demo. I was in love with Anita Baker's uh, Rapture album, and I would sing, oh. like, all over the house, every last one of her songs, but Caught Up in the Sweet Rapture love. was... Oh, caught up in that, that was my favorite song. Da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, sing, uh, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, no, I was... <laughs> they, threw, they threw me out of that karaoke box, yeah, at the mall. I wouldn't even... Uh, oh, I love Anita Baker. Well, my cousin, she forced me to go into the, the karaoke booth because she loved to hear Where me. was it? And on um, Westchester at, uh, at the Gallery of Mall. <laughs> Yeah, and... That, that's what I'm yeah. saying. These are great stories. <laughs> yeah, And so yeah. you went in there. You were, you were singing Anita Baker? Yeah, I sung Caught Up in the Rapture. Um, of course, it was like a tape, a regular tape. Then I took the tape, I brought it home and gave it to my stepfather, and he played, and he went crazy over it, and he knew Jeff Redd, who worked at General Motors with him, and Jeff Redd knew Andre Harrell. And Andre Harrell got the tape and came down to Slow Bomb, to the projects where we live. He actually came to, you know, the projects where we lived, and, and was it standing in my living room? And I sang probably like five, six songs from that album. In your Just, living room? Yeah, my living room from that Rapture album. And then the rest is history. And I didn't know I was going to get a deal. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying whatever. You know, because you don't think, when you come from where I come from, you don't think these things are going to happen. So I was singing because that's what I did that's to survive. And um, here I am because of that day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Yeah. And it's on and on and on